Hey what's up guys, this is Youthful Gamers and today I'm gonna make another ROM review. I'm back again. Uh, I haven't made a ROM review in like a really long time. Uh, and ROM reviews is really what you guys seem to like. We got a lot of views on my channel so I was like alright, I've got a new ROM on my phone since uh, a while now. I've been using it for a few months now actually. And I wanted to show you guys what it's like and um, show you guys some features of it. And uh, it's really cool. So this ROM I'm using right now, let me just go in here, is called D-Light. It's from the same guy that made uh, the uh, unofficial Resurrection Remix, which I showed on my channel as well. Uh, it's from the same guy. Now, the unofficial Resurrection Remix, uh, I don't think he does it anymore. He now focuses on this at the moment. So this is uh, an Android 8.0 ROM. It compares to the other Twitter with Nougat ROMs. This is now an 8.0 ROM, which is the latest version of Android. Actually, maybe, uh, sorry, 8.1 is. But um, 8.1 is already starting to pop up in ROMs for Rumpus 2 as well, but not in this one. It will get updated soon, but it's not in the moment. It will come. So um, <clears throat> let me show you a bit of this, this ROM. So currently it's running, uh, this is the December 11 build of D-Lite. It's D-Lite V1.2 beta, so it's still in beta. Some things can be unstable, but overall it's pretty good. <coughs> so then also we've got uh, the security patch is 5th of November 2017. Uh, my phone is currently in Dutch, so excuse me for that. Guys, I'll try to explain it. So this, the ROM, it's all your classic Android 8.0 features. A few change from Android 8.0 is mainly that the settings menu has been all been put into categories. So you go in, you get network and internet stuff, and it's all like worked into separate categories now. So basically, you go to battery, and it's got a nice, neat screen with all been renewed and shit. And then you have your other stuff. Uh, it's all been remade. And then you've got a few. You got of course you got the custom uh, features from the ROM. So basically, you've got your a uh, no, I wouldn't say a ton, it's a, in comparison to the Resurrection Remix it's not nearly as much, but it's quite a bit for like an 8.0 ROM. It's, I think it's currently one of the most feature rich uh, 8.0 ROMs at the moment. There's not a whole lot of customizable 8.0 ROMs out at the moment, but this is probably the most feature rich one you can find right now. So it's got a fair set of, uh, nice set of features. So what you've got is you've got your navigation bar settings. So it's, it's going to adjust, you know, turn on the navigation bar, adjust it. Uh, change its size, change its button type, whatever the fuck you want to do. You get your lock screen and security settings. You've got your um, things, you know, your standard things that come with lock, lock screen shortcuts and that kind of stuff, and fingerprint authentication, vibration, and whatever not. Um, you've got notification and quick settings uh, customization. It's pretty much like all the other ROMs, just you know, changing how 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 it works and how it behaves and that kind of stuff. Pre pretty good, pretty neat. You've got um, your status bar, which is pretty straightforward, you can change what icons are being shown on the status bar, like your volume, you can say, I don't want to show my Wi-Fi on the status bar, you can do that. Like, it's all very basic stuff, you can turn on the network traffic monitor, as one of many things, all, all very basic things to have, most ROMs have, but it's nice, because some of the more basic ROMs don't have them, and this one does have it. Um, you get the battery charging light, also pretty straightforward, notification light customization, it's per app, I think it's more like an Android, Android 8.0 feature than it is more of a ROM feature, I believe, but it's pretty neat um, to have it like that. You get the battery bar up top, so you can see up top there, the battery bar, it all the way at the top. Pretty cool, it actually also gets an animation when you connect it to the charger, pretty nice. Um, you got, of course, your power menu settings where you can change how what's all being shown in the power menu, basically this menu right here. Also, we have button customization, changing the backlight and that kind of stuff with the buttons. So, back backlight and uh, features and what what they all do, what the, the the hardware keys all do. Basically, pretty handy to have. I like to change my hardware keys up sometimes. What they do on double press or long press. You get, you get your volume button change. You can swap the volume buttons around when you hold your volume landscape mode. It's a pretty nice feature sometimes. It's a bit uh, weird to get used to, but it's it, it can really uh, really no help sometimes with orientation I don't know <laughs> uh, you've got other and basically you know just your special kind of stuff like Delta updates and custom rotation currently in this ver version uh, Delta updates I believe don't work yet they'll come in the future but for now you just have to manually uh, dirty flash your new update over this one uh, it's what I've been doing and generally it actually is a lot better than Delta updating in my, my opinion because Delta update is going to do sometimes often it I have it a few times now with other ROMs. The Delta update just fucked my entire ROM up. It completely fucked it all up. So I personally like to just flash it myself. <laughs> I 
Okay, now it's, it's a few things like you can change what kind of permissions each app gets. It's pretty nice to have. If you're all about security and that kind of stuff, that's what you want to go for. Animations, change each each individual animation. Although I found not all of them actually work, so really it's not. A, I don't think it's very useful. It's not going to come in very handy, but it's there if you want to customize it. Uh, wake lock blocker and you know the block wake locks pretty obvious that so you don't get battery drain. Um, I don't use it personally, but it's there. Uh, you got alarm blocker, which I wouldn't see why you would want to. I mean, uh, alarm blockers block alarms while screen is off, and I think, look, okay, why would you use that? Come on, I mean, you have an alarm set. You want to be able to turn your phone off and hit alarm with your screen on. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why you would use that for. Maybe someone leave a comment down below and tell me what you would use that for, because I don't, wouldn't really see the purpose of it. And of course, your gestures. Um, as in, um, you know, your basic gestures, like gesture anywhere and that kind of stuff. You also got the OnePlus gestures, but they're hidden somewhere else here, and screen off gestures. And uh, right here, I don't use them personally, but they're there. Um, a root, uh, I believe since the latest update of this, it comes, it comes pre-rooted now, so it installs magic, magic for you right away. It's pretty nice. Uh, battery life on this ROM is pretty decent. At the moment I've been rocking 47 minutes of screen on time at about 8 hour charge. Currently, uh, uh, on average I get about 3 to 4 hours of screen on time. It's pretty average for ROM plus 2 at the moment. Um, charging is fine too. No issue with charging. Just make sure you use the right charger. That often makes a lot of difference. Um, personally I use it with the Blue Bolt kernel. It's a handy thing I would recommend you just... The Blue Bolt kernel is a very good kernel I think and uh, really shows you some of the you know good battery life that you can get sometimes with a custom kernel once it settles in it becomes really good and really shows you start, s starts to show you you know how good the battery life can be sometimes with this uh, device but it really depends on how much you use it like when i don't use it a lot every day i come home from school or work and it's most likely let's say like 80 percent or something like that that's because i ha haven't used it that much it's just in your phone and uh, since with recent Android 8.0 no updates i think i believe it also starts to battery save while you're you're not using it for a while even in your pocket so it does this like actively and changes the battery saving mode on the go so that's really nice so i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys uh, let me know down below if you guys want to see other roms being reviewed on this channel so hope to see you guys in the next one and goodbye